So my collaboration circle had to do with a boy in my class uh, who has uh, trouble focusing on tasks and can sometimes uh, be disruptive. Um, after several attempts of trying to redirect him and get him back on track, uh, the student's still struggling uh, with getting distracted and not focusing on his work and also occasionally disturbing others. Um, so that's the dilemma. Um, some clarifying questions that my group asked me which were helpful were, has anyone reached out to the parents? Um, not so much right now, no. Um, I, I was speaking with my CT. This has just recently become a problem. So uh, we're, we're, she's coming up with a plan about, about, it, about reaching out to the parents. Um, then another question was, uh, has he said or done anything after you've spoken with him? Um, I mean, I haven't had like a really deep talk with him, but I have spoken with him and uh, it hasn't really worked so much. It works for a little bit, but then it goes back to his, his old patterns. Um, it is a recent, the question was, was it a recent problem? Like I just explained, it was a recent problem. Um, and then someone asked if there's times where he d does focus and there isn't, he isn't so much of, uh, isn't so distracted. And yes, there is times not as m many, I mean, as we'd like, but there are some good times where he does focus and uh, and do some work. Um, but those moments are fleeting and we're trying to make him more focused, more uh, consistently. Um, so I was quiet and let the, the, my group talk and suggest and, um, you know, at, at the end we came up with an action plan. Uh, the first action plan was to identify the behavior. Okay, we've identified it, but like really observe the student's behavior and, and document what's going on. You know, make a record of it. Um, also, keep talking to the top student. Uh, if this is of course in hand with the, with the student te teacher, uh, making sure that um, you know we that she talks speaks with him and finds out. Try to find out why they're acting out and not being able to focus. Um, getting parent with the plan we make it shouldn't just be the teacher but a good suggestion from the group was like have the parents be involved with this plan uh, when it happens you know work hand in hand with them um also with a student and, and the teacher's doing a good job with this but making setting clear expectations uh, is a is a good thing just so the student knows you know what's expected of them are the according to the class norms and just in general uh, and what happens when that doesn't happen and should be consistent with those things that happen when uh, the student is not, uh, you know, doing what he should be doing. Um, keep monitoring the progress too. You know, support the student, but monitor progress um, to see if the plan's working. If not, you might have to adjust. So that was some really good tips from my group. I'm really thankful for uh, their feedback and their input. And I'm going to uh, bring some of this to uh, my classroom and my C team and see what she thinks. So it was a great exercise and uh, thanks for, to everybody involved.